Hey, we're back. Uh, sorry for the delay of a couple days here. I've been... Yeah, just timing of things is real bad. Things should hopefully get better. A whole lot of videos coming out, hopefully. So, I thought I would... Uh, see what's going on here and see what we can do. And I was thinking maybe we should add a few more things, such as... A few prop things. What else do we have? I, I just seen it in here. Where'd it go? Um, we had a, I got a lamp and that, a chair. That's what I was looking at. A rocking chair. Thought that'd be kind of neat. So I'm going to take these few objects and I'm going to put an empty and move it stick that in there call this one rocking chair and I'm going to <coughs> add a animator and I'm going to create a animator controller called rocking chair going to animate that real quickly and just say rock and we'll say rocking and now I can say record and take that guy and I'm going to just key all those in real fast and I'm going to go say around 30 and I'm going to go up but he's going through the floor so I want him to come up a bit and then we're going to go 30 and we need to set him back and then we're going to go 30 this way and we're going to rock them that way. And then we should go back at 30, so 2. Set him to go like that. And we should just have this kind of this little rock happening. So there's that. We can put some creaking to it. Add a FSM. And let's go to the animator. So we have rocking. I'm going to say for him to loop pose so it's a little smoother. And create an empty. I think with this guy, what we'll do is just make him a pool. And we're going to say, uncheck that. True is false. And that guy can be true. Right? So then, I think what I'll do with this guy is just do a trigger enter set animator pool use to true and I'll do the same thing here but I'm going to set him as false and then now he needs a trigger. So let's add a sphere. Mark it as a trigger. Okay, I want to stick it outside just for see how it looks after. 
So there's our chair. What else do we have? So I think with this guy, you know what would be kind of cool to do with this one? Let's do a box collider. And let's also give him an empty. And on this empty, let's give him a rigid body. And as kinematic. Okay. Let's give him a animator. And let's give him a animator controller. Following picture. Alan, did I? Okay, I did do that. Okay. Whoa, whoa, there we go. Wall painting, there we go. So, following picture. Oh, I have two of those. Rocking chair's got this one. This one has those. Let's delete the duplicate. Let's not have that one. We'll get confused. So on this guy, <coughs> I think what would be kind of neat to do is... Where's the animation? So let's do idle hang save and he can literally just sit like that. We will move this guy a bit just to make sure to get all these keys in over there and key those back in okay so if we had this thing hanging on a wall let's just put it on a wall so we see what it looks like Bloop. now what if we say create a new one called Ball. And we're going to add a property to this. The rigid body is kinematic. And we're going to add rigid body use gravity. And I think what we'll do is we're going to go record. So he's sitting just like that. Right, so let's make sure he's keyed in. And we're gonna go here. And maybe we'll tip. We're gonna raise him so it looks like he's sliding a bit. Right. And with the tilt happening. And then I think we will a little bit, key some frames in, and then maybe we'll go over here, I'll slide it a bit more, and I think at this one, we're going to start coming off the wall as well. Then we're going to go just a couple frames, key in, go here, and then we're going to swap those. And that should be all we need to do. So I don't think this is this part's gonna matter. 
So let's quickly just take a quick look at that. We have where it's hanging. Let's just go to a hang to a fall. Scene, game, and pause, play. Okay, we're in. Okay, so we need to take the looping off on this guy. That guy there, no loop. Loop is bad. There we go. So now we should just have a him falling. I don't like how he just stops there though. We should add force to that when it goes. Or, <clears throat> this is the other option. We can give that a little bit of a better falling. Is at. Okay. Let's remove the rigid body. So when it hits here, let's just send an event. It needs a FSM on it. Now, send it to bed. Called fall. Okay, so now that we have that, we can go here, go that, go here. We need an event called fall. Book the transition fall. <coughs> now, what are we going to do? We are going to physics. Use gravity true. Physics is chiomatic. Nope, that's a question. Set is chiomatic. Do false. Okay, that might give us a little bit of a better. Uh, better fall. There we go. Much better. Okay, so that's our wall painting. Let's stick him over by our chair so we know it's done. You can always use sound effects though. And the lap, I'm going to do a little differently. I think I am going to. not animate it but I am going to give it a sphere trigger expand it out and he has a collider I see okay good let's add a rigid body take him out of the prefab state and let's do a trigger enter add actually you know what we haven't done yet let's do this one add explosion force let's create a little empty here we'll stick him down no, we don't want to do that. We could, but we don't really want to. Let's just do random floats. Let's go that way, that way, and one for the Y. So let's go negative, I don't know, 10 to 10. Store is X. Negative 10 to 10. Store is Z. 
Um, 5 to 15. Stores Y. Add force. This guy, vector X, Y, Z, impulse. Force goes below all that. Okay, now let's just move him. See, now I, he would be even cooler if he also had a collision enter. source and do a audio play just need some sort of enough. So, well, where'd my guy go? Right there. So we could do that. Now we could filter that by tags. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now though. So I'm going to stick him on the ground. And our wall painting he has the fall right the other thing we want to do is rotundry so he has that so he just we're just going to give him a trigger saying fall and we give him that trigger and where's our wall painting there? We'll add a add system on trigger enter set animator. Whoops, getting ahead of myself. Fall, not push, not there. Fall. So he needs a sphere. Trigger, and let's just stick them out like that. All right. Let's see if all this stuff kind of works. And okay. First of all, we need that. And turn our flashlight on. Rocking chairs is really it's in the air, but. Why not him? He's fine. Okay, our lamp. Did he just explode right away? There he goes. Flying sky high. Crazy. It shouldn't be. Oh, okay, here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. Add FSM. We're just going to paste. What? You son of a. So, copy. Gonna let me do that. Paste. Haha. -ha. And I'm gonna disable this guy. Call him basic. And when this guy triggers, I need to go away. 
when this guy triggers we're also going to enable this guy and then after we add the force add force enable him and when this guy is enabled he is going to disable this guy so when he's enabled in the start and then You, little Mr. Lamp, would you sit right there? Are you still flying? What's up with that? Where's it going? Okay, so you have a box collider, rigid body, continuous, oh, let's go with some mass there, oh, how about oh, the drag, let's give him a little bit of drag, I don't know why he's in the player layer, So on this guy, we also want to, after we play that, we're going to disable that. We're just going to have that one smash. That's for sure. On. And I'm going to actually I'm going to change this from a just a trigger enter to a trigger event. Just so I can filter this right to the player. Mind you, I think it had, I think its own collider was a player too. Okay, well, that worked. It didn't have much force, but it worked. We all, well, here, put that back down there. That's working. So now, it looks kind of funny when it's just uh, not spinning or anything. Let's just add some torque. And we'll do, oh, we might as well just reuse those. Same things, just to give it some crazy spin. quite that far. I mean it's going to be inside so I'm just ultimately it's going to throw against a wall or something. That was a lot better. That was 
a lot better. I think I am going to just bring this guy down just a touch. Okay, so now we can prefab those. There's a lamp. Okay, the rocking chair. I mean, they, they can use some sounds and stuff, but I'm not that worried about them right now. Uh, there is, I guess, one or two more I want to do, though. So the other one I thought would be kind of neat. So we have doors, right? <coughs> we got these doors, and we can replace them with our doors and lock them. But I also thought, wouldn't it be kind of cool if we had... Trade an empty, and you could make this function as a if you if you animate it enough. I mean, you could make it a door and this thing that we're making. Animator controller, or or you could use another layer of game objects too. Call it ghost door. Ghost door is going to get right there. And animation, we're going to say idle, closed. And all we're going to do is move it, reset it, and come over and key that and say ghost knock so if we how fast we want to go say three frames and let's go out a bit just a bit tilt that way and that way just a smidge If we were smart, we would, have, we would have gone like this. Go about six and key, and say 12 and key, 18 key, 24 and key, and 30 and key, and then go, won't go quite halfway, we'll go two. Now move it out like that, just a little bit. Oh, well, I guess you could do that. Go here, go two out. Go two out. Move this one way out, like a big hit. Come out, go two out there. Tilt it the other way. Might be a bit fast. Yeah, it's a little bit fast. So let's highlight all of that and just expand that out. Still a little fast. Take her out to the whole one second. That's uh, not bad. Still, though, take her out like that. Okay, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. So, now <coughs> we could. If we wanted to get fancy with this, right? Say about there, we would add FSM. And say we had an event 
called well, I shouldn't call it anything I mean in reality lots of these times I'll, I'll don't do it right away <laughs> but usually when I get going it's like man I'm making a lot of different events so lots of times when I get going if it's something bigger uh, I tend to try to use uh, the same events and I'll do more generics like action action one action two so forth uh, hit have some horror stuff breathing scary blood dripping <laughs> It's not perfect so so we're gonna do a couple things so for example we go here and go like that and we are going to send an event called bang I'm just gonna copy that and it comes out it goes in and it comes out so we hit it again and it goes out it comes in out and in this is going to be exactly perfect send an event bang out Coming back out, there's that. So I think I mean, for the door itself, that's cool, right? But we want a little more. So I think the other thing we're gonna do, and I'm just gonna make it a little easy way, is I'm gonna add a audio source and an FSM to this guy and actually I can just play it now yeah play an awaken loop so we have over here <coughs> not that stuff that and this one I am going to where are they so what was I doing okay we have a hit we got the bit of that is so I'm going to deactivate this one and I'm going to come up here and we have 
on this bang we're just going to take this guy and game object him logic array game object activate true and that is it now this guy however he's going to play this and he's going to loop so we're going to want him to wait for roughly one point This is our bing? Yeah, this is our bing. So, at 60 frames per second, we are, yeah, 1.2, let's go 1.15. <clears> then <throat> when we finish, we're gonna go like this, up here, and this guy can activate, activate. Activate owner, nope, not owner. Deactivate, yes, owner. Deactivate owner. So, what starts this? Let's do another trigger. No exit time. Now the other thing we want, we want to make sure is this looping is off on this one. So this guy, we are going to put a sphere trigger, a bit of a radius. See what he looks. that so he is going to we'll just put it right in here the trigger event with the player and go over here set animator shit animator trigger So now, I'm just going to test this, but I'm going to just duplicate it so it's out. So it's on this side. So now that's going to look like walk up and <laughs> kind of gives you a nice little jarring thing happening there which is good it's what we want i'll prefab that one close it and we'll just leave that one in scene i guess that's fine so the other thing we want is we want to create because i don't have a thing for it i'm going to stick this guy right here Collider. I'm going to take a box collider instead. And I'll give him a different look too. So I'll create a new material. And he's going to be a battery. So our battery is going to be. Just a dark color for now. Put a little bit of metallic to them. 
probably make them a little smaller too. Obviously, if you guys have models, you probably want to use those. So if this is a battery, I am not going to give this thing any logic, I don't think, but I will give it a tag called battery. So battery, if we look on this guy, we have this guy and he's searching, he's getting tags, we can go battery. Now add him in. battery there. So what does a battery do? Well a battery is going to charge our flashlight. So if we are set game object, we don't need to do that. So let's just copy this guy to reuse him. But we're going to get rid of that part. And pick up battery. And then he can finish just like the rest of them. Hmm. So, okay, well. We have a door interaction and that does, we have this. I think we should do the same thing. Or we can just do it in here. Hmm, nah, what's wrong with another FSM? Right, exactly, that's what I thought. So we have something here. We have a flashlight battery. And he's got a charge of 50. So we could, I don't know if we're going to bother, but we could have it so that if the, uh, I'll say the battery gives you 25. And if you're, say, at you know 40 do you really want to pick it up kind of idea you can say no or right we can just say um, all right so what we'll do we'll, we'll copy the door idea so we are going to take this thing copy we'll put that back into here but this isn't going to be door anymore this is going to be item There we go. So now this guy, get FSM game object from the interaction. We're getting item stored as item every frame. And we'll do a conditional expression. Boop. So if item not equal null. So if that's true, if that if it doesn't equal null, we can grab it. And if it's false, well we don't care. So we'll copy and paste. He comes over here, but now say gone he's gone can no longer see it so this guy can have a get uh, key down e shit e Event No, we're not gonna do that. So 
what are we going to do? We need to get slider value of of flashlight battery, which is the current value. And it's an int, int add. Put that above there. Oh, that's not a, it is a float. Okay, fine. Float add. No biggie. Float add current value, let's add 25 float clamp. Let's clamp it. We don't want to, I mean, it, we don't have to like go over anyways, but I can never know. So we can't go beyond 50. And we need to now set the value. Set slider value. Move action to the bottom. And the slider is this same slider. The value is that current value. Because we've added to it, right? And then we also want to, we could just deactivate this, but we will destroy item. Move to the bottom. And go back over there. No, no, go over here and you'll automatically just go back over there. Okay, so that's our battery, right? We would prefab that. And it literally has no logic to him. He is just collider and a tag. So let's save that. Let's hit play. guy is there a layer system Elements. iterations I, I think I meant to spell interactions so we do we forgot to do that so, so there we go let's pick a battery we look away it's there and we hit E and our battery bar filled. So we have to kind of get some little creatures running around, some little zombies or something. Just happen to look over and it's like, nope, peers off the side. Of course, this guy's not going to go now, but. Ah, I don't know how it's set up to actually open. And we have this guy. That allows us to open him. I think. Um, so a interact I was thinking if we should do a locked thing probably not I, well I think normally we would but I'm not gonna worry about it right now um what are we doing for time oh yeah that's probably pretty good then so I was debating on maybe having a I don't know, like a combination lock where you can enter in the numbers to open a door as well.
but I don't know. Um, I don't really know what else I should add into this. So other than, you know, more, well, more things animating, right? I mean, that's always fun. Flicker some lights here and there. So other than like a shadowy figure running. Um, I don't know if I should add in. Uh, I don't know if, if you guys have any ideas on what on where on where we should take this. Uh, by all means, comment below, and uh, I'll see what I can do. All right, so I'll catch you later.